Do you believe in the power of sports? For the 2012 Olympics, the UK invested 26 million pounds in their cycling athletes alone, and they ended up winning 12 medals. Their, their wins fuel a cycling train that generated 3 billion pounds for the economy. Now, let's take example of Guatemala in the same 2012 Olympics. Our country invested 3.8 million quetzales, or less than half a million pounds, in training our sports uh, and our speed walking team. Eric Barondo brought, brought home our first Olympic medal that we're really proud of. But what happens with this after this kind of victory? Many of the athletes who represent Guatemala abroad come home to as Many of the athletes who rep to represent Guatemala abroad come home to face the same situation of poverty and, and substandard training facilities that they should be rising above. When you see this lack of a dignified career for sports in Guatemala, many abandon their ambitions in sports. In my case, some of my happiest memories from childhood were playing soccer. Like a lot of other kids, I wanted to be a professional soccer player. But unfortunately, I had to quit the team because my mom couldn't take me to practice anymore. Luckily, I had other interests and opportunities ahead of me. But for many other kids, the lack of a future in a sport means a huge loss for the development of the country. Because sports is not just about playing games. It is a sector of society that fuels dreams and healthy lifestyles, and it also generates jobs. Now I have two kids who are even better athletes than I was. And it was through them that I started, feeling, that I started seeing the potential for sports to power development in Guatemala. Our kids were going to gymnastics, but I kept noticing this other huge group that was there every day for, for climbing. And they had a coach that was always sitting them down and giving them talks. And one day, he was telling them that the way to become great athletes is by setting goals, even small goals. And for example, he told them, you can make the goal for this practice. I'm going to get to the fourth hold on this route. And eventually the goals add up and you are ready for a national competition. Our kids ended up joining this group. And as I got to know the coach Luis Pedro, he started telling me about his athletes. That many of them come from difficult home situations from single parent families and uh, moms that sell tortillas or sell fruits in the market. A lot of them struggle to, uh, to afford attending even public schools, but they are showing up to practice, to, they are showing up to practice regularly and many of them are among the best climbers in the country. But one of the team's biggest problems is that of losing all their athletes because they have to to, they need to work to help their families. And they are working in jobs as gardeners or in constructions, or jobs that are, doesn't really use all the passion and the potential they have shown as athletes. The other problem they face, like many other athletes in Guatemala, is that tr of training facilities that are not up to a standard. But they have still managed to be national champions for three years in a row, winning 13 out of 24 gold medals in their last nationals, and a total of, of, of 83 medals over the last three years. Seeing how Luis Pedro was making all this happen is what planted the seeds of Top Antigua. It was seeing the power of sports in action. Our story starts with Luis Pedro's story. He came from a difficult childhood, but he was always a problem solver. When he was 11, he and his younger brothers needed, to buy, needed some quesales to buy some things for school. Their parents didn't have it, but they had a well, and a lot of people in their rural community didn't have water. So they started carrying around water to sell to their neighbors, and they were able to buy their, their shoes and the school supplies they needed. But the way he really came into his strength was through sports. When he was a teenager, he discovered that he could go win national competitions in climbing, running, and mountain biking by pushing himself in training. And now, besides competing, he works with young athletes, supporting them to be their best selves. 
Luis Pedro expressed the power of sports by who he is as a person and by his abilities as a coach. That's where Top Antigua is coming from. Together with Luis Pedro, we founded Top Antigua because we wanted to develop more young athletes and offer them a better future. Now, there are three pillars that every athlete needs to succeed. Healthy environments, performance, and meaningful work. And it happens that these three pillars are the, the same pillars that we need to uh, spread the power of sports for youth development. Healthy environments are safe spaces that uh, spread the benefits of sport for all youth. The sports lifestyle is a powerful medicine for all the hopelessness that many young people feel about their future. And it's no wonder that they feel hopeless. Unemployment in Guatemala is five times higher than in the rest of the population. They see their friends, uh, they're here, they see their friends uh, occupying themselves with alcohol and other less healthy activities. Healthy sports em environments are an alternative to the street that in which they can, gain, they, they can gain confidence and set goals. Beyond training, we draw youth into the sports lifestyle with fun athletic activities like climbing volcanoes and mountain biking. And we want to support more coaches to offer these kinds of safe, healthy spaces. The next pillar performance is what gets athletes really excited. To be competitive, you need a lot of, work, a lot of hard work, but you also need a lot of expertise about how to train and also the right equipment. We want prevent, to prevent situations like Ken Francois. This guy holds the national record in high jump, and he decided to quit because he had no support. He even had to borrow these shoes to compete one time. So we want to see, we want to see talented youth like Ken to uh, reach their full potential as athletes. And we do this by connecting teams and athletes to resources so that they can have better facilities and smarter training. We have also been raising funds to replace the rotten boards and get new equipment for the climbing wall. And we are working in, on smart technology for monitoring to help coaches who work with a lot of athletes and have few resources. The last pillar, meaningful work, is about work that taps into your human potential. To reach their potential, those older athletes that were dropping out to, uh, as, to work as gardeners need meaningful work. And these athletes are in the perfect position to work spreading the power of sports. But what kinds of work spread the power of sports? We have started uh, with uh, offering teaching uh, physical education in schools with alternative sports like climbing and orienteering. And this year, many of them have gotten trained to be nationally certified sport coaches. In this way, we can work towards high level services for youth sports as well as for high performance athletes. So by focusing on healthy environments, performance and meaningful work, we want to lay the foundation for a better future for Guatemalan athletes. A future where more kids discover the athletes within. A future where more Guatemalan athletes are representing our country to the world. And a future where more athletes come, come from their big series to meaningful work in which they can share all the skill and passion that they gain from sports. We want to spread the power of sports so that their athletic accomplishments are the beginning of their success story rather than the end.